need a countdown from, uh, from three. Three, two, one. for people to be drinking, man. If I can smell it, this, this is not a big debate. saying, hey, this water is poison, something's wrong. And you have uh, Governor Snyder and his staff that won't recognize what's wrong. And in April, this will have been two years. We can't drink the water, and can't bathe in the water, you can't cook with the water. In my household, there is a total of six. So for all of us to bathe is with bottled water, you kind of have to ration out water. Sometimes it breaks my spirit. Um, I was pregnant with twins in July. I lost them. I went through a, whole, a horrible miscarriage. When I came home, I got something from the city of Flint that said pregnant women and people 55 and over should not be drinking this water. But my son has really been having problems. He's only in the first grade, and, you know, he's tested positive for lead, and they're saying that it causes behavioral problems, so we really need to get some help. Is there anything that you really wanted to say tonight that you haven't gotten a chance to say? Well, Lester, I spent a lot of time last week being outraged by what's happening in Flint, Michigan. And I think every single American should be outraged. We've had a city in the United States of America where the population has been drinking and bathing in lead-contaminated water. It was her voice that let it be known, hey, they got a problem over there. We need to do something about this. This is not merely unacceptable or wrong, though it is both. What happened in Flint is immoral. You know, when you have somebody like that fighting for you and supporting you and saying, I've got your back, can't ask for much more because we have been able to get things moving and we've been able to get it out there. Now you take a picture of me and your sister, okay? Yes. Yes. His interest in cameras shows his concentration, shows his ability to follow through and focus. Yes. We need to make sure he gets a chance to learn how to do that. I'm serious. We need action now. I will not for one minute forget about you or forget about your children. And I will make sure in any way that I can that America stays with you too. This is the most important work we are ever called to do to reach out in every way we can to lend that helping hand for every single person in Flint. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mayor Karen Weaver from Flint, Michigan. I'm Karen Weaver, and I am the mayor of the great city of Flint, Michigan. Flint is a community of 100,000 strong, hardworking people living in the birthplace of General Motors and the place where the great sit-down strike led to the creation of the United Auto Workers. Flint is also a city in crisis. Five years ago, our Republican state government used a Michigan law to take over control of the city. In 2014, the state switched our water source to a polluted river to save a handful of dollars, causing lead contamination to leach into our drinking water, poisoning, poisoning a whole community 
and leading to health impacts that may haunt our children for generations. The problems in Flint are not over. The water is still not safe to drink or cook with from the tap. Our infrastructure is broken, leaking, and rusting away. Our local economy struggles to rebound, and there are many more flints across the country where environmental issues are hurting our kids and families. Today, the help we need from our federal government to start rebuilding our drinking water infrastructure still sits blocked in the Republican-controlled U.S. Congress. I am a voice for Flint, and we need your help. Do you know who has also heard the call from Flint? Hillary Clinton. She came to Flint when the water crisis hit. She joined with our community groups, our civic leaders, and our churches. Hillary said, I will do everything I can to help you get back up and to help you get your strength and resilience flowing through Flint again. With direct help from Hillary Clinton's team, the Flint Water Works program is now putting the young adults of Flint into new jobs and rebuilding their own community. Hillary's wonderful daughter Chelsea even came to Flint to bring people together to start this work and to create new opportunities for our families. A month later, Hillary Clinton came back to Flint again and called out to say that lead poisoning, broken infrastructure, and struggling cities are a national crisis, not just a Flint crisis. She made a commitment that as president, she will work for a lead-free America. And that's why I'm with her. So join with Flint to get behind Hillary Clinton, to raise our voices for Hillary Clinton, and to make her the next president of the United States. God bless Flint and God bless America.